Four, three. Michael, I don't know why you think you get to do the countdown just because you're the only person here today with a penis. Hi guys, welcome back to Thoughtology. Um, I'm here with my friend Jax. Jax, you want to give me your Instagram? Snuggers by Jax LLC. Honestly, if you guys didn't fucking know that by now, then just stop listening now because we yeah, don't want I'm no bandwagoners, okay? I'm just <laughs> and then my friend Gigi. Gigi, you want to give me your Instagram? You don't have to if you don't want to. Good luck trying to get it. Hey, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say it three times fast. Jelani said, Jelani said, Jelani said, Jelani There you go. Said, yeah. Good fucking luck. <laughs> All right. So, listen. You guys, I'm going to go out on a ledge here today or a limb, whatever the fuck you want to call it, and say y'all want to know how to be fuck girls, right? We all want to know how to be fuck girls, but only like... 12% of us have the balls to actually be a fuck girl. Now, when That's I was thinking, true. it's so true. All y'all want to be fuck girls. They're like, I'm you gonna, think you are. I'm, yeah, yeah, you yeah. think you, you be, <laughs> listen, you be okay. fucking city girls, you know, on Instagram and LMA and the fucking text messages, okay? Like, you're like, I don't need no fucking man. And then you're like, baby, why are you ignoring me? Or why did you like her picture? That ain't fucking. The five minutes since you responded. Yeah, exactly. So, all y'all want to know how to be fuck girls, but you don't know how to do it. And I was sitting there thinking, who would I go to for fuck girl advice? The OG, Gigi. Now, however, Gigi, would you like to disclose your current relationship status? If you don't want to, then you don't have to. I'm an open book. Uh, I am in a relationship. A yeah. serious relationship. Yeah. Tell them how that fucking happened, because it was not supposed to happen, but it did, right? Now listen. Uh, he knew what it was when he met me, okay? <laughs> he knew what it was. I had five options. We had literally had the number. Oh they just my God. Numbers. No, I remember them. Okay. She sent them to the group chat and, and she uh, said, which one do you like the best? Number one, number two, number one. <laughs> they did not have names. Continue. And, uh, yeah, he was well aware of everything. Um, and the day that we kind of started vibing, we were hanging out, um, he was like, so, you want to get together tomorrow? And I was like, I have a date. Like, I'm busy, I have a day, I have a day tomorrow, and I have brunch on Sunday, because then he asked me about Sunday, I was like, listen, I'm, I'm booked. And he's like, okay, I'll pick you up and I'll drop you off. I said, okay. Her me. Gigi, talk to the mic. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, <laughs> no, I just didn't want to interrupt the story, but I got to. Yeah. Like, Gigi was like, like Jax was looking no, at me, wait, I was like. Wait, real quick, can we just talk about how that's our favorite sexual move? Oh, <laughs> scoot the chair, scoot the chair, scoot the chair. Dude, it is. I'm I was just like... I don't give a fuck. I'll say it all day long. I'm going to scoot that fucking chair until I get what I want, okay? Anyway, so he said he'd pick you up and drop you off. Or drop yeah. you off and pick you up from your date. Yeah, and that was kind of the first. Because, you know, that, that already shows mm -hmm. that he's different. Because most men will be like trying to not yeah have them yeah date. yeah they're trying to commit like they don't want to like commit that. but they also don't they like try to guilt you into not doing your own thing exactly exactly and i'm like listen inside i'm 45 so you ain't getting no shit past me okay i'm telling you that even in like in, in the Puerto Rican culture they'll tell you that for my que tu para aquí, which means like for as much as you jump and this and that you're gonna fall here and that pretty much was his whole approach so he's like you could do whatever you want he's like but I'll be here, you just let me know when you're free. And he just kept making Does he have a six foot three to six foot four brother? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's an only child. <laughs> God damn it! I hate me too. It's fine. Um, okay, so GG is what we all should strive to be, okay? Cause there's been times where GG was just like, yo, snap the fuck out of it. GG went from so me and GG met doing promo for a club, right? You went to dinner with me, like, the night that we found out about Spawn of Satan and the pictures of the girl, like, oh, the, the sex pictures, well, right? Bad. So that yeah. was real bad. So me and Gigi and Liz, like, we all go to dinner, and I can't remember what fucking girl we were with. We were with some girl, right? And I'm, like, fucking devastated by this, right? And I had to go work that night, like, we're doing our promo, whatever. And this other girl's, which, I can't, we're not gonna say names, but you know who I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. She's like, I think she's like, what, 22 or something? She's young, right? 
She was young. She was really young. She was like, listen, I've been through really bad breakups. Like, I totally understand. And then one of the other girls, I don't know if it was you or not, Gigi, somebody pulled me aside and was like, yeah, she fucking cheated on her boyfriend. So she's it's she's not going through the same thing that you went there. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, listen, we've all been there. And I'm like, bitch, I swear to God, I'll strangle you right outside this fucking restaurant. Like, I'm really not playing right now. But Gigi went from seeing me devastated by that to me, her, and Liz going and getting drunk at brunch and calling Child Bride I don't know how many times to be like, babe, I'm drunk, but you can come pick me up. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to come pick you up. <laughs> Gigi taught me that. The, the, listen, the whole point of our conversation pretty much after that, which I told her, is you just need to get on your shit. Mm -hmm. When you're on your shit and you're doing what you gotta do and you're worrying about yourself, men are dogs. You're, they they're you're untouchable. They just follow you. Mm -hmm. Like little, like little yeah. babies. And the more that you do you, the more they want to be involved, the more they want to be, you know, all about you. It's, it's always somebody doing the most in the relationship. Yeah. And if you feel like you're doing the, the most, most... You need to fucking I mean, stop it. Yeah, you gotta... You need to stop it. And it should always be the man. Because anybody that you realize has been in a successful marriage... The man is way more in love with the woman. The woman's like, which is ah. sad, but it's true. Yeah, it, you know, it has to like be. for me, here's my thing. I feel like I don't show love like a normal person does. I guess <laughs> I don't know if I'm just like broken. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like me and Gigi have that in common. But there's been times that like I've been in love and been with somebody, and they'll be like, "Do you even love me?" And I'm like, "Yeah. What the fuck do you mean, do I even love you?" Show it. Yeah, but I show it in, like, a different right, way, because yeah. I, I don't really think, besides when I know I'm being fucked around on, that brings out some crazy in me, because right. I hate being lied to. But if we're solid and we're good, I can't tell you how many times I've had a guy that I'm with that I really like be like, you don't like me anymore. I feel like you're not into me anymore. I'm like, bitch, I'm here, right? The fuck you want from me? Like, I'm, I'm still here, so, That's like, so y'all need to stop, like... Stop fucking trying so hard for like like I'll I'll admit I'm in a situation ship, right? But I'm in a situation ship because of circumstances that are an actual fucking thing. Like he's moving three thousand miles away. There's an age difference, and it would be irresponsible of me to force him to like grow up when I did my fuck shit at his age, you know what I mean? That's not fair, you know? So for me, it's like I already know I know what I'm doing. You know, I like in this specific thing, you're just pretty much asking for respect. Yeah, exactly. Respect and, and communication. And it's a, it's like an open respect and communication thing, and it's like, but we're happy. I'm really happy, and he knows I'm really happy. So I don't really give a fuck what anybody else says about what I'm doing because I'm not trying to prove anything to anybody. You know what I mean? And the issue that girls have is they always get in these situations with these guys and. It's like, listen, bitch, you can sit all fucking day that you don't care that y'all are not official. We all know that you're fucking lying because you won't stop fucking talking about it, okay? So you need to go be on your fuck girl shit. And no dude is going to fucking commit to you if, like, you're do Like, Gigi, you explain what I'm trying to say. Well, first of all, I don't think that a woman or a man are going to commit to each other if it's just not the right pair. People yeah. get into these situationships thinking that actually knowing that there is an expiration date on it, knowing that that's not the right person, and still getting involved. Um, and I will say that for women, we tend to be the more emotional. That's not always the case, because in my, in my personal experience, it's always been the man, so what are we? So where is this going? So do you love me? And so I'm, I'm saying that it could go both ways, but usually it's a woman, and half the time, people can't just live and vibe out without putting something into a box, without needing a title. You know like, what? Just have fun, like you're saying. Yeah, that's exactly what the fuck I'm doing. And people don't understand it. And they're like, well, one of my friends, I was with him the other day, one of my friends called and was like, oh, like, well, is he your boyfriend now? And I was like, no. And she's like, what do you mean? And I was like, we're hanging out. Like, we're hanging out and we're fucking happy. And... Like, we decided a while ago that we would rather spend as much time together as we can before he leaves and just enjoy each other. And if something's going to happen, something will happen. But to me, I think the most mature thing I ever did was go, all right, I'm, I'm very analytical sometimes. I can argue both sides of the situation. 
part of me is like, well, if somebody really cares about you, then they should grow up and they should, you know, they should do this, this, and that. But I don't really think that that's fair. Timing is everything. That's what I'm saying. That's not fair. Yeah. Like, that's not fair. Like, I can't even tell you the dumb shit I was doing at his age. Like, I can't even, and it's wrong for me to take that away from him. Like, those are experiences that he needs to go have, the you know? The moment try to manipulate it, it's already wrong. Exactly. It's, it's already wrong. Exactly. Like, the right thing to do is just enjoy your time and then let things take their own fucking course. And the, the issue that we have as women, I feel like, is we're always trying to control the outcome. Like, for me, I was always trying to control the outcome. Like, control the outcome of a situation because I didn't want to be surprised. I didn't want to, you know, like, whatever. And it's just like, dude, number one, keep your fucking options open. Well, first of all, that's exactly what I was going to say. Keep your fucking options open. And first of all, like, if you like be a fuck girl, you know, not all these men are supposed to be your fucking husband. No, they're not. They okay? don't all deserve. All you got like you. 15 to 25 fucking pit stops before you reach your final destination. Okay. This is like a, a Uber pool. Okay. You got a lot of fucking stops to make. Before you get to your fucking house, all right? And so, for people that are the hopeless romantics, even then, you have to date in order to realize the qualities that you want in your future partner. You like, have to date. Or stop you in a relationship romanticizing you every fucking person that you're with. Ugh. Like, they like they shit fucking butterflies because they don't. Chad is not that fucking great, okay? His subpar dick game don't impress none of your friends, okay? Subpar. None of your friends. Like... In, this is this is huge. I don't give a fuck. I'm about to say something so fucking mean. I don't give a shit. I'm not gonna say her name because that would be real mean. The girl that my situationship was hanging out with before me, right? <clears throat> you didn't even fucking like him. You just like the idea of him. That's it. That's the most pathetic low life shit I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. You didn't like him. You like the fucking idea of him. That's why like she was fucking with him just so. She, you or she, would have him. she wanted to be with him and he told her up front, this is not a relationship. We are not together, whatever. Right. She did what every other fucking girl does. Went around telling everybody, oh, we're together. Oh, he's my boyfriend. Oh, we're dating. Blah, blah, blah. And the first thing that I told him when we got into this whole thing, right. I said, if you ever talk about me like that and try to make me look bad, I'll fuck your shit up because I'm too good for that shit. I'm 28 years old and I know what this is, you know? So don't, don't ever disrespect me like yeah, that, you know? Stupid. Don't make me look stupid. And from what I've known from everybody around us, and we have a very large mutual friend group, everybody's like, he's never said one bad thing about you. He's never disrespected you, like whatever. I don't go around saying that we're together or we're this, we spend a lot of fucking time together, you know? But I like him for who he is, you know? Not like, <sighs> And she, she's just, she was in that stage of, it's like, oh, she wants him just because she can't have him. Mm -hmm. And that's, you have to ask yourself, like, is that a good enough reason to fucking be with somebody? Like, no, it's not. And I, I started asking myself that a lot, like, in the last recent years, like, even with Spawn of Satan. I even told him to his fucking face before we were official. I was like, I was like, I don't even know if I want to date you or if it's just that I feel like I don't have you that makes me want to date you. I was like, there's a high possibility I could get you and not fucking want you anymore. And that's that is a fuck girl. That is a fuck girl. That's why you gotta fuck on them until you know exactly because the man that is for you, yeah. you will never doubt it. Yeah. He will do anything and everything, like every single thing that you didn't even think was possible to make sure that he is top of mind and you, makes you feel at your, like, you won't even have to second guess it. It's going to be so much in your face that you you won't be able to ignore it. So every other man that doesn't do that, fuck them. You, fuck I have them. a perfect example. Do what you want to do, live your life, keep doing you. So me and me and Child Bride, we've had our disagreements, you know. We've gotten in our arguments. Child oh, I call him Child Bride. He calls him Child Bride. Yeah, he's okay. my Child Bride. Okay. He's my baby. I'm a sugar mama. He's my Child Bride. That's what he calls me. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Um, but anyway, so I I got off work at my from my new club. I got home at like well to his house at like four o'clock in the morning the other day, right? And this really put shit in perspective for me. You really need to think about how this man treats you versus the title that you do or don't have, okay? Mm -hmm. So I was tired. I went to bed at four o'clock in the morning. He woke me up at ten. We went to the fucking gym. 
he like put me through the fucking ringer, right? We get back and he starts like picking on me, thinking he's being funny, you know? He was like, babe, I think I just want a couple days to myself. Well, he knew I had to do this tonight. He knew that I had stuff I had to do last night. Like, you he's know, playing? whatever. Yeah, he, no, no, hold on, hold on. So he's like, I think I just need a couple days to myself. He never fucking says that. And so I started getting mad at him because I was so tired and I was like, I know you're fucking with me right now. Like, he's just trying to get a reaction because he thinks he's funny, you know? So I started crying, just like <laughs> sobbing in the kitchen. I'm like in my, I'm still having showered from the fucking gym. And I was just like, <laughs> and he's like, babe, what's wrong? And I was like, you're being mean to me and I'm so tired. And he starts laughing and he's like, babe, I was just joking. And I was like, no, I'm going home. I don't want to be around you. He was like, babe. You're not going home. I start packing all my shit into my fucking bags or whatever. And he's like dragging me. He's like, come on, babe. He was like, let's go take a shower. And I was like, I'm so tired. Like just crying. He took a fucking video of me. He thought it was hilarious. And then he's like, come on, babe. He's like, you're not going to go home. I was like, you don't want to hang out with me. He's like, babe, I was just kidding. He's like, I shouldn't have joked with you. I forgot how tired you were. I'm sorry. And he like puts me in the shower and I'm sitting on my butt in the shower. Water hitting me in the fuck, directly in the fucking face. And I'm just like, <laughs> and he like got in. He's like, come on, babe. Like, and he's just laughing. But like, but I think of all the guys that I've actually dated though. That if I had started doing that, they're gonna like you're being fucking crazy, like you're being crazy, you're like, I, yeah, you're being dramatic. I don't want to deal with you, like whatever. But I went into a full fucking tailspin just because I was tired, and yeah, it was his fault because he's trying to get a fucking reaction out of me. And I was like, did you really mean you didn't want to see me? And he was like, no, babe, I didn't mean it. I was fucking with you. I'm sorry, I was fucking with you. But like, anyway, all right, let's cut the emotional shit. Um, how do you be a fuck girl, Gigi? Ooh, well, options is definitely not. Well, wait. We, we went over that. We need options. Jax. Jax has been in a relationship for four years, but Jax is smart, so what, what do you know? What do you see about these other girls that are struggling? <laughs> you know what? You're good, too, because you're a lash girl, so the I bet you have I, girls. I feel like a, the big thing is when girls try to, like, so when they're trying to find someone who has a lot of money. Oh, my God. Uh, and I feel like mm -hmm. they... I've seen girls finesse it amazingly, and I've seen other girls where it's like crash and burn. They, but they, I think both they crash and burn because they're just trying so hard. And the first thing, what's the word? Like they, they keep trying to get the money, and a guy knows that she's trying to get the money. Because guess what? Like, Unless he had an inheritance, he can't be that fucking. If the guy stupid. really fucks with you, he's just gonna give money up front. You're not, you're never really gonna be like asking and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And. I just feel like that's where a lot of people mess up is they just don't understand like how to get the money without you know what I'm saying without being uh, over the top about yeah. it. Yeah. And then it makes you like money repellent. So here's like, when, you, when you're trying super super hard. Yeah. Here's the issue, and I do this in the club all the fucking time. All right. You gotta act like you just don't give a fuck. And surprise, surprise, when I'm at work. I fucking, I don't give a fuck because I, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for a boyfriend or a husband in the fucking club. That's not how I want my fairy tale to start out. Well, I saw your mom popping her asshole on stage and I just knew I had to be with her for the rest of my life. That's not how I want that to happen. Like, but these girls, I see it in the club all the time. Like I will get like more attention sometimes because I'm not so forthcoming you know like everything's a battle with me they'll be like what's your name i'm like what's your name they're like where are you from I'm like where the fuck are you from what do you do well, obviously you know what i do you're fucking sitting here watching me right now what the fuck do you do or i'll always be like which one are you using finance it's you isn't it chad like you know just i'm funny and i kind of sell things like a different way and i think girls need to like expand yeah and expand so dude expand your fucking skill set funny girls and, are not it's just not that much of a thing is what i've learned what, what funny like, girls? Yeah, just being funny. And at the time, that just comes from being yourself. Like, I feel like almost a every girl is yeah. funny and goofy. Like, you know, every girl has that side of their personality. But like you said, they just try so hard that if you just are not That's why I yourself, like to be fucking like, sarcastic. Like, the more natural you are, the more also you just don't care either. Exactly. Because right? then you have to, like, try not to care, then it's even worse, and then just... 
too many emotions and everything yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. Everything else. Yeah, you just need to have a little bit more air of mystery to you. That's the biggest fucking thing. Be mysterious. Mystery, yourself, being yourself, dude, or being mean. There's that two. Me. There's two. Ver mean. There's that there's two shit. versions of me at work. Ready? Which? What's my fucking job at men? I mean at work to fucking finesse men. Okay. <laughs> So there's okay, lazy your money check. there's there's lazy Mariah who's like yeah what the fuck do you want no I'm not giving you a lap dance no you can't suck on my toes Chad like leave me the fuck alone tip me or don't talk to me right and then there's this version of Mariah who talks really airy like this oh my god you're in finance wow yeah I'm really thinking about getting into investment properties myself tell me about your childhood Chad. Wow. <laughs> What's your favorite restaurant? Ha <laughs> ha, knee touch. You better oh mention me when it comes to the investment properties. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah. For all your property needs. Yeah, exactly. Oh, wait. That's the worst. When you bring your side track. Oh, hold up. Side track. Can we please talk about? Do you remember what I did when we went to brunch? Oh, my I got God. shit housed, right? And you know me. I just be making shit up. I told some rich dudes that I owned like eight properties in Miami and that I made all my money off Bitcoin. And I was just like, yeah, that's why I'm allowed to be here and be dr like, I was just, I sold this he dude. Still follows me on bro, Instagram. he was eating this shit up. And you know what's funny? I was like, yeah, I was like, I said, Gigi has a couple uh, properties in escrow for me right now. I was like, you know, I'm not going to live there. I already have my condo down there, but I'm going to rent the properties out, you know, because residual income, you know, and she went into a full story. I'm talking about like, we were there for hours and this was just an ongoing. And it was literally, episode. I was literally pulling this shit out of my ass. <laughs> And, Liz, and I'm here having to cover her because yeah, she's including yeah, me. Yeah, and Liz, like, she's, like, what'd she say? She's yeah. a real estate agent. I'm like, oh. I was like, yeah, Liz comes <laughs> down there with me all the time. Liz is just so looking at me. I'm like, yeah, I'm licensed and in like, my yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm not worried about any of the details. I'm just like, yeah, I got rich off Bitcoin. Oh, like, yeah. or, I don't even think I said Bitcoin. I think it was something like way I opposite of that. It was like old as fuck. But I was just like, yeah, and I was just like, Gigi and them were just like trying to catch up, like trying to like. You know, and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'm just like, um, I'm long. like, hold on, we have some my helicopter's about to land two blocks down, so <laughs> you know we gotta make it to the helipad so we can go to the next spot. But yeah, just be making shit up. All right, so we, what did we say? We said, I, don't, I didn't options. Option. options. 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 Yeah. options. Expand your fucking skill set. Um, Learn how to ignore, especially. Well, the, th the good thing about options is that that leads into that, right? Because if it's you so have much too many easier. men to in your roster, you can't answer them all the time, especially when you're doing hot girl shit. Bro, like, don't Yeah, listen. like, especially when you're doing hot girl shit, you're out with your friends, you're doing your job, you're getting your money. Like, don't I don't have time for you. Um, I would just like to point out that I am not currently using my fuck girl techniques because I am in a happy situation. Yeah. However, I would just like to point that out. <laughs> Or family members listening. Yeah, anyone listening. Anybody who's listening. Yeah, who's listening. I'm not using that correctly. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Me to my boyfriend. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, but, all right, let's see. Let's, uh, short and fast techniques. Um, all right, if he says he can't hang out, ask him what he's doing without asking him if to hang out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, oh, and what? if he doesn't invite you, that's a message, too. Yeah, like, watch this. What are you doing tomorrow? Oh, I'm gonna do blah blah blah. Okay, cool. Don't ask him yeah, to hang out. That. And you then, and then when he asks you to hang out, be like, Oh, sorry, I can't. I'm actually busy. I was just wondering what you were doing tomorrow. Yeah. There you go. I mean, you I know? wouldn't even reply. Yeah. Or that. Well, like, like, all right, number yeah. two. I mean, you're up. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's actually funny. Child bride was with me when I did this. This is before we started like hanging out. We were at Clarendon Ballroom one night, and they were, like, they were doing their fucking thing, because at the time, it was just, like, me with the guys, you know? So they're getting numbers, they're doing their thing, whatever, right? And I was like, y'all think you're good at this? I was like, bruh, watch me. They have a video of this. I went through my phone. I texted five guys the same fucking thing. I said, come over. Half the numbers weren't even fucking saved, and I knew who they were. I just don't give a fuck, so I didn't save your number. And... Literally, the guy sat there and watched these dudes go ding, 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 ding. One of them was at Clarendon Ballroom and saw me with a group of guys. And he was like, well, you were with that big group of guys, like whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, this is a perfect, perfect fucking scenario. Okay. This guy asked me to go out, right? It was my night off. I was like, I don't really want to go hang out with him and all these fucking people that I don't know on my night off. I wanted to go out with my friends, right? 
I didn't know where he was going. So we show up at this bar, and he's there, and he gets super mad because he sees me sitting on the lap of who is now child bride, but at the time he was nothing. And um, he left. He ends up giving us his table, right, after I showed up with other dudes. And he says, um, what did he fucking say? I texted him and I said, come over just to, like, be a fuck girl. Oh, just to be a fuck girl. You know who I'm talking about. Think I about it. I think I do. I think I do. Hold on. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, <ew. laughs> yeah. So, so then oh, I, I texted him and I was like, come over. And he was like, oh, well, you were with all those guys. I didn't say shit back. And then, like, four minutes later, he's like, well... Let me know when they leave. And he is about to fucking come over, alright? Be a fuck girl. Do whatever the fuck you want. He is not your boyfriend. Y'all are... I feel like I'm bike hogging right now. I'm very passionate about this subject. But stop fucking being committed to dudes that don't want to fucking commit to you. Like, that was a perfect situation. He was... He tried, he to, was, he he was. tried to bitch me out, too. He tried to bitch me out and be like, Well, I invited you, blah, blah, blah. And then you showed up with all these guys. What? And you know what he said to me? He said, that's not how you get a boyfriend, Mariah. I said, okay. oh. Okay, hold on. Let's pause right there. Hold on. Let's pause right there. <laughs> because I'm a huge believer in giving a disclaimer from the beginning. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I'm going to let you know exactly what it is. If you want to cross that line, if you want to hang out with me, then you know. You know what you're getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. So any guy that I ever was just playing with when I was pimping, they knew. They knew, I mean, I had, I would be leaving my house, saying bye, and the other, the other man's in the car, car reversed, looking right at me, as the other one walks down, and I'm following him to go, get into the other guy's car, to go down. Which is so game. fucking savage. Like, <laughs> okay, so everybody knows what he is, and even then, I go to the club, I'm downtown, I'm at the bar, I'm dancing with this guy, Snapchatting, meanwhile, the other option is looking at my Snapchat, turns out he's at the same bar, and he sees me. I don't care. I and you and should. at the end of the day, I wanted to leave with him. So when I left, I left the other one, and I went home with the other one. So you just need to do you. Everybody's going to know that you're just out here. Now, this leads me to my next point, to what you were saying. Only mess with one person sexually. Oh, yeah. So and I, yeah. And let me tell you, and it has to be somebody that you would never in a million years ever think you would just never catch feelings for that honestly is not anybody that you would ever take seriously. That is the one that you want to fuck. Oh, I, I hate a, to say that, I have a good but story find someone that, that you just don't at all want to get involved with. Either they're on the level of fuckery that you're on, and you guys can just have great sex, and it's nothing serious. But the ones that you even take seriously or that might be options are never the one that you're actually fucking. Yeah, I just gotta say that. I did that. Well, so I have two stories about it because this was <laughs> this was the same time frame, right? Kind of the same time frame. So, there was some gaps in between, okay? I wasn't, like, totally home now. So, anyway, he calls me to bitch me out about that, right? Well, I had told him. I was like, bro, like, I said, I'm not pressed. Straight up told him from the fucking get-go I wasn't pressed. I said it so many fucking times that he was like, please stop saying that to me. And I was like, you need to fucking understand I'm not pressed. The first time that we went out together, major red flag, he was like, well, if we were together, I wouldn't want you dancing. And I'm I like... Remember, I remember. Yeah, I'm like, bro, I really, like, you don't even know me like that, and for you to try to impede my fucking money, like, who the fuck are you? So when he said the whole thing about, like, he was like, well, this isn't how you get a boyfriend, I went off. I was like, oh my god, I was like, I'm sorry, did you think I was living my life solely on trying to get you to be my fucking boyfriend? I was like, you're cracked out of your fucking head. And he was like, I don't have a problem getting girls. I was like, cool, go fucking get them then. And I told you to stop talking to him. Yeah, again, yeah, I did. Because, no, at the end of the day... Listen, when you're out here with your options and you have your options, okay, you feel more comfortable letting go of guys that try to tell you anything, anything you don't mm -hmm. want to hear. I have, I have literally stopped talking to guys for the dumbest reason. Some dude showed up to my job without telling me to bring me tacos, never spoke to him again, blocked him on everything. Don't ever show up to my fucking job without telling me you're showing up to my job. Mm -hmm. I told my boyfriend, I was like, don't, I just fell out of the fridge. I have stopped talking to somebody, stop fucking with them, because I just fell out of the fridge on the floor and they kicked it under my fucking fridge. What the hell's wrong with you? Like, you don't have manners? No, Jack. we're done. Like, I'm not, no, I'm Who just done. That? That's what I'm saying. No lazy bastard. Like, okay, if you're that lazy yeah. you're in my fucking house, get the yeah. fuck out of my house. Yeah, Yo, you know the, like, oh my god. I think I told you half of this story, not the whole story. 
So you know how you said be fucking somebody that you never really would like see yourself with or whatever, like yeah. blah blah. That's what I was doing, right? And um, I could tell he was like starting to catch feelings, yeah, kind of. And I was like, mm, yeah. But here's the thing, right? So we had like a snow day, and me, when it snows, I like to watch like uh, what's it called, like natural disaster movies, like the day after tomorrow. Like I like to pretend like I'm getting snowed in and I'm gonna die. So I made him come over, yeah, and I was like, oh, like, let's watch this, right, or whatever. Well, I, he knew I was, like, doing my own thing or whatever, right? However, he's sitting on my couch next to me, and I had told him I didn't really feel like fucking that day, we were just kind of, like, hanging out, right? He's sitting on my couch next to me, texting another fucking bitch in my house. In my house, right? And it, here's my thing. I don't give a fuck, but, like... Mm, it just it rubbed me the wrong way like she, she could fucking wait right what really iced the cake was he stayed the night <clears throat> woke me up the next morning and was like hey can I borrow $40 for an uber and I was like <laughs> are you fucking kidding me are you, you walk are you like... fucking kidding me you you're gonna ask me we've been have we been hanging out for like two three weeks and it wasn't even like that it wasn't even like oh like we see each other like whatever I, when I tell you, I cut that man off so fucking fast, and then he kept trying to fucking hang out with me, and he, like, tried, so I told him he wanted to hang out with me on Valentine's Day, and I was like, bro, I was like, I don't want to hang out with you on Valentine's Day, I can't even remember what I fucking did on Valentine's Day, but I was like, I don't want to hang out with you, like, I don't want to be your fucking Valentine, right? And so he said, um, what did he say? He said, um, happy international woman's day to me or something. Or no, he, yeah, he said happy week. Yeah, the, like the week, yeah. And I said, why don't you say that to the bitch you were texting at my house? And I was like, happy International Women's Day. And then he got mad and like blocked me or whatever. And I'm like, but I'm just like, bro, like, it's just cringy. See, okay, so that's the thing. I, for, so for me, if I'm out here and I gave my disclaimer and he knows what's good, I'll let my men do whatever they want. And my women, because I'm bisexual. So for me, what? I always had... Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so until now, I've usually always had a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Mm. I've always been just, you know, as best of both worlds. Dude, I can't even date one and person. <laughs> Gigi's, <laughs> Gigi's like, yeah, I always have a boyfriend and a girlfriend. But let me tell you, girls are different because you think about it, if I had a girlfriend, she'd be here right now. Bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, we'd That's be at, like, you share the same clothes, clothes you, very you go out, yeah, we'll go out to the strip club together, like, that we'll go to church like together. It's the very, fucking worst thing ever. And I mean this. <laughs> That's such a like heterosexual. Listen, thing. they know. Listen, it's because you are super pressed on bro. It's okay. We get listen, it. no, no. It's I thought about this. Have so, any what? of the men you've been with made you come from 8 p.m. until 5 a.m. multiple orders? No, orgasms? listen, that's no, not it. No, no that's not it. it. <laughs> Listen, okay, it's not that. It's not, it is not the sexual part, right? It's not that. You know what I don't like about the idea of dating a girl? She's gonna say drunk. No. What are you doing? Do you miss me? Like, I don't want somebody doing to me what I do, do to them. fucking child bride. Like, and I'm also like a tom. I don't. Let me tell you, if you just orgasm multiple times, but you will be fat texting the fast as fuck. I'm, I'm good, baby. I'm Bro. here. I'm work. What you doing? been super horny and then you masturbate and then you're like never mind yes that's me all the time like that's why it's not a thing because i know listen i've literally cracked my back and <laughs> orgasmed at the same time once you crack your you back while it. you're orgasming i was like i really could die by myself like i really don't need nobody so it's like Jax is literally tearing up right now you guys but the, that's why I, I couldn't see myself dating a girl because i feel like especially with some of my girlfriends they always make me like the masculine figure in the relationship. Does that make sense? Like they're always oh, like hanging on me and they're like, hey, I'm Ryan. and I'm like, bitch, get the fuck. I'm like <laughs> swatting them away. I'm like, chill. Well, that's the thing is that I was like that with the woman that I dated. I don't get it twisted. And they would go crazy. It's the same, it's the same psychology. Wait, so as are you the, are you more feminine or masculine? First of all, I like women that look like women. Okay. They look I was like, like 
But energy, so like, energy wise, studs, bang, bang, yeah, 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 energy wise, energy wise. You wanna know how I realized that I was the quote unquote man in the relationship? Because I'm always apologizing, even if I'm not wrong. <laughs> Because I know, like, for me, I just could never see myself being soft to, like, another woman that way, I guess. You always have to. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, but, the masculine one but I am so, but I don't want to be masculine. That's the issue. I'm naturally masculine, but when I'm with child bride, I'll be like, it's a different. Yeah, I'll be like, smushy. I talk to him in a completely different voice than I talk to everybody else. I'll be like, so um, I was I'll be like, yeah. um, can, can you? Oh, last same. night, he came, <laughs> listen, last night. <laughs> He came home last night, he had duty, he came home, and I was like already in bed, right? And I was like, um, can you, can you get in bed and put your feet, um, on my feet, cause my feet is cold, and he was like, no. And I was like, you're, <laughs> I was like, fuck you. I was like, <laughs> I, was like, I, was like I was like, but you're my smushy, I always call him my smushy cuddle butt, or like my cuddle bunny, and I'm like, bro, but nobody else, like if, if y'all saw how I act, and it's just me and him, you'd be like, who the, what the fuck? Fuck no, that. Like, what that. the fuck? That's why that's I'm just like... That's embarrassing. Let's not talk about that. No, it is. It absolutely is. <laughs> but here's the thing. Number one, I don't get embarrassed. And number two, if I can't be like that with you, I don't fucking want that's you. That's true. And I'm only like that with one person out of fucking time. And like... <laughs> yeah. Can you yeah. imagine me going up to some fucking five foot one bitch being like, are you my smushy cuddle bunny? And they're <laughs> just like... <laughs> No, that's how it goes. That's not how it goes. You know, I'm just like, you bitch, you can't even big spoon me. Like, first of all, I've seen you on the other side of that. Okay? What? Smushy, I've been on FaceTime with you and you're smushy. I've been on FaceTime with you and you're smushy, and she could definitely. <laughs> no, <laughs> he was like, no. he was literally like, don't talk to me like that. And I was like, oh <laughs> shit. I was like, wait, is this what you FaceTime? Yes. Me? And you were being all aggressive. Like, you're like, come the fuck. end up Yo, being to the girl. he knows when, but that's the thing, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't like that shit. And I always, whenever I fight with a man, I'll be like, you want me to be a fucking bitch? Like, I don't want to be a bitch. I just want to be your smushy snuggle butt. Like, just leave me alone. <laughs> so you're trying to be a baby. Yeah, like, I want to be the fucking baby, but I don't like when people baby me. Like, I like that, well, I, this is going to be weird. I like that he does, he very rarely babies me. Like, I don't want a guy who's, like, 100% always, like, exactly, like, all, ugh, you know? Like, I want it to yeah, be, yeah. like, everyone, like, a nice guy. Yeah, like, especially, like, especially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody needs to be, sh yeah. <laughs> the strong, so, like, strong we're, side. We're getting off topic. Michael, you're terrible today. You have not been keeping me in check. All right. So, <laughs> what did we say? We said, it was okay. good. It was a good conversation. I had, yeah, a, I had a question for her. So let's see other other fuck girl tips. I mean, besides saving dudes' numbers as females' fucking numbers, or if you really want to fuck with a guy, like let's let's get into some hardcore fucking just like tips real quick. Like let's okay. just blast them out. I one first of all after that. Wait, yeah. Go. So change your fucking girlfriend's number to a dude's name. Go over to his house and have her just blow you the fuck up. Let it ring. Let him see it. Don't answer it. Let her let him text. Why aren't you answering? Did, did I do something? Are you mad at me? Please talk to me. Just let all that shit pop up on your fucking home screen. Whatever, right? And then when he looks at it and he's like, who's that? I'm be like, I don't know. Whatever. Like, just walk away. Like, that's my tip. Continue. <laughs> I have not done that. <laughs> but, but I will say this. Um, Fuck other people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that, that gets too sloppy. It gets too messy. I can't, I can't do that. I, but, but, I will definitely use men for, like, whatever they're good for. Whatever I can get, I will get. Hang so on, if they're trying fish. to take me to Tampa, they're trying to take me to Miami and pay my flights, and I'm out there, I'm doing it, and then when he thinks that he's going to get something, I'll be like, okay, well, can we go to the gas station because I need gas? And then, next thing you know, he fills my tank, and then I literally drive off and never see him again. Like, mm -hmm. I will take my whole Jeannie vacation. He's the most savage person that I've ever met. No. <laughs> <laughs> because at the end of the day, you don't owe anybody anything. Like, Jeannie, that's the way yeah, I, I see say, it. I'm not let, even, yeah. Let go. Let nothing phase you and get over shit real quick. 
and especially if you're trying to be like a fuck girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. there's okay, no point. Phase you. Nothing can phase you. And get over shit quick. If yeah. you feel some type of way, get over it. And yeah, here's like, here's the make thing. Make it up. Find somebody else. Fuck girls, else. Fuck girls don't write paragraphs. No. Yeah. Fuck girls don't, don't write paragraphs. We don't okay. Apply. We when I've right. been, I'm on yeah, I'm I don't give a fuck. When <laughs> I've been in fuck girl mode, like, and I was doing it to who I fucking like right here. Like, he'd be like, I, I literally just because I thought it was funny, I'd hit him up and be like, hey, what's up? And then he would text me back, never fucking say anything back, like, for days, and then he would text me back, like, three days later. The worst is I And he'd be like, you. why do you, yeah, I'll be like, why, I'll be like, oh, damn, that's, that's weird, like, I wish I could say the same, like, or I'll be like, yeah, I'd, I'd miss me too, like, the fuck, <laughs> like, you know, um, I'm trying to think about Don't be uh, afraid to be mean. Oh, fuck no, yeah. Yeah, be mean, cancel plans. Like a lot of girls I know, like, even though, like, you know, they're, like, semi-fuck girls, but, like, they're just not mean enough. Here's, here's, tell, tell me what you think about this. So say say a dude pisses you off, right? I'm all for making plans with him again and then canceling day of. So he thinks shit is cool and then he's thrown for a fucking loop because you canceled 30 minutes prior. I've done that before. Um, Did you do it just because it he had made you mad? Petty. I used to be really, really petty. I'm all yeah. for that. Yeah. Job but pride for me, me to it petty. depends. So I have, there's levels to it. There's different caliber of men and what they can do for me. Mm. I hate to put it that way. No, but that's so true. It's just, it's just what it is. And so if he's, if this man that made me feel some type of way or just like pissed me off, because when I was a fuck girl, like nobody could make me feel some type of way. I swear I was just, I don't, I don't even know, impenetrable. But if I was like, okay, he tried. If he was the type of person to also fly me out to Miami every weekend and I could bring my girls and we would pop, I mean, Bottles, thousands of dollars in the club, and you know, she, private she should cars. come to Miami with us. <laughs> oh, I got the hookups in Florida. <laughs> I had to leave. There was too much access. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but the thing is that if I know that he's the one who can like, su- almost like supply me with the things that I want, keep him for what he's good for. Yeah, absolutely. Don't let your feelings absolutely. get hurt. You don't need to be petty don't with him because exactly. at the end of the day, he's gonna give you something. But I'm not gonna chill with him when he wants me to chill with him. I'm no. gonna chill with you when I'm like, oh, when it's convenient. I can use you now to go on that yacht though yeah okay we need a yacht bet I know when you're that. feeling and like, girl, right down and the city where are you at exactly and that's what you get to oh. and i'm the worst because i'll be like honestly you hurt my feelings and that's why i didn't talk to you this whole time and this is how you can make it up yeah. and you make him do the fucking most oh yeah i've done that i've been like listen like not totally not giving a fuck it's been like will you just like <laughs> You just really they buy it too. You just really hurt my feelings. Like you just really hurt me. Like Michael, what's our time? You are like forty five minutes. Away. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up <sighs> and we're gonna go into our next episode. Gigi will be back for that. Um, and we're kind of gonna talk about the same shit and we're also gonna talk about how me and Jack's are about to go to Miami and probably do some really dumb, stupid shit. But anyway, <laughs> you wanna give your Instagram? Jelani. That's that I eat. Good luck. How do you even spell that? Exactly. That's why I say good luck. Listen, good luck. Yeah, I, I will put me on Yeah, Instagram. you can go. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. Really want Mariah to Malibu, she fucking, I'm not spelling this shit for you guys. Honestly, I really don't give a shit. If you can't figure this out, this is just not my, it sounds like a personal you. problem, even mm-hmm. though I do love you guys. Like, follow, subscribe. Jack's Instagram. With, uh, sit up by Jack's LLC. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, I was just drinking a yeah, mojito. Like, um, 